Tough new vaping regulations have been proposed on Long Island. One township wants to stop stores from selling all vaping products near schools and parks. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has this. Tiffany Capers is a mom on a mission. It's a school right there. It's a high school here, youth program there, churches on both ends. And a smoke shop right in the middle, selling vape products as teenagers pass. Most of them walk down this block every single day. It doesn't have to be on our block in our face. She lobbied the town of Hempstead, and now America's largest township is proposing a ban on all vape sales within 1,000 feet of a school park or playground. They're putting them near these schools for a reason, folks. You know, they're targeting these areas because they want to get them hooked on this stuff very, very young. Uh, and this legislation is clearly going to, to take task and address that. Any new smoke or vape shop must be located in an industrial zone. The legislation comes as teen vaping is on the decline. According to this FDA CDC 2020 youth survey, 1.8 million fewer teens are now using addictive e-cigarettes than last year. But 3.6 million still are. Serious lung damage, uh, serious cardiovascular problems, other complications that we don't know yet because, uh, you know, we haven't studied nicotine delivery devices on, on, on human beings. Despite New York State's flavor e cig ban, it's not a fad that's fading fast. Very discreet, it's easy to use, um, it's easy to hide from mom and dad. But critics say stores that sell only vape products and are located near schools will fold. We've had enough businesses closed during this pandemic. We don't need to see more of them. The New York Vapor Association says young people will simply find nicotine elsewhere. And if it's available in the most deadly and harmful forms, that's where they're going to end up. The public can weigh in on the two proposals at a public hearing on March 23rd. Smoke shops would then have till October 1st to stop selling vape products near schools and parks. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gutsoff, CBS 2 News.